And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create an eye icon. I've got the snapping enabled and the snapping for rotation center right here. So this little plus sign, make sure it's active for you as well. I'll start with a circle and I hold shift and control when I create it. Then I press control D to copy it and I give it a white fill. I size it down holding shift and control. I repeat, so control D, this time a black fill. Size it down holding shift and control. And once more, control D, white fill, size it down. And then reposition this one to the corner. And I hold control when I resize it like this diagonally. That's fine. I press Ctrl A and then Ctrl G. So all is selected and grouped. Now I use the ellipse to again. I go to the center. Hold Shift and Control once more. You can create a nice background like this. But I like it better with a sharp edge on the sides. So I'll create two ellipses and I'll reposition them like this. I hold control when I drag them up and down. They both have a white background now. Let me get rid of the background and I only give it a stroke. So I'll shift and click on a black color swatch. If you want to make these edges sharper or smoother, just resize one ellipse and then copy that and reposition the copy once more like this. And you can see it changes the sides. I liked it this way, so I'm going to keep it. Make sure both are selected, so I'll shift and click on both. I give it a red fill so that you can see it. So this is what I've got selected. I'll make it white, and now I'll go to path and use the intersection. Afterwards, object fill and stroke, and increase the stroke width. In my case, 50 seems to be a good value. Let me zoom in here and you can see the join makes a difference as well. I use this one for sharp corners. Select it all, Ctrl A, then go to object, align and distribute and align it to the center vertically and horizontally. And now I hold shift when I resize that from top down. And the other side from bottom up is also transformed. And you can see if I give the entire thing a background, we've got our eye icon with a white background inbuilt. And this I can create an eye icon in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.